Hey everybody, thanks for watching the Scouting Report on SoundersFC.com here with Steve Zakawani. I'm Nick Fershaw. We're previewing the Sounders' next big match on Saturday night. They're at FC Dallas down in Frisco, Texas. The game starts at 6 p.m. Pacific. You can watch it on Q13 Fox or check it out on the radio. Cairo, 97.3 FM or El Rey. 13.60 a.m. Steve, Sounders on a bit of a hot streak lately, and you can point a little bit to uh, the inclusion of Eric Freeberg back in the midfield for the first time last game, his first start since March 12th. Gives the Sounders a different look a little bit going forward. What do you like from Freeberg? He, he does, Nick. You know, they look different with Freeberg and the team. Um, the thing about Eric Freeberg that goes unnoticed is how often he looks for the forward pass. As soon as he gets the ball, he's looking for his forwards, his wingers, the guys making runs. He wants to get them in behind. A lot of times in the midfield, the Sounders have had issues where the midfielders play too deep, which forces Clint Dempsey to come back, Jordan Morris to come back. When Freeberg's in there, they can stay high because he covers that space so well. He's been involved in two of the last three Sounders goals, played Joven Jones in for the goal that eventually led to Jordan Morris's winner against Columbus. Then at the weekend, had a fantastic assist to Clint Dempsey. Very calm on the ball, good first touch, good second touch too, which is important because that's the pass that usually plays people in. Fantastic on the ball. What I like most about him is how he benefits Clint Dempsey. He keeps Dempsey high because he covers that space underneath so well. And uh, Brad Evans, the captain of the Seattle Sounders, really put a fine point on it after that win over the San Jose Earthquake. You check out the quote from Brad here, defining the differences between Christian Roldan, who's been really good for the Sounders this year, and Eric Freeberg. And when you look at the heat map from the last two games for these guys, on the left, you'll see Eric Freeberg against the San Jose Earthquakes, and on the right, it's Roldan against the Columbus Crew. Not a ton of difference, Steve, here, but Freeberg up in the box a little bit more. And obviously, one of those little marks you see in the box, that's an assist to Clint Dempsey, which changed that game. You take a look at some of the passes these guys were able to complete in those respective games. Again, on the left, it's Freeberg versus San Jose, and on the right, it's Roldan versus the Columbus Crew. A lot of Freeberg's passes going forward. Roldan has been a very good player this year, but he's more of a lateral passer, more of a defensive-minded player. Yeah, and Brad Evans is right. Roldan plays right alongside Alonso, and so when those two are in there, they tend to sit pretty deep. Eric Freeberg tends to play in front of Alonso, and Freeberg runs all over the field, make no mistake about that, but when he's central, he's high up the field. And as I've said, he keeps the forwards high because they don't have to come back to search for the ball. He covers that space so well. And the best thing about Freeberg, again, for me, and I love playing with him, is he looks for that forward pass. You make the run, he'll find you. One of the reasons they brought him back into the fold in the summer of 2015, already paying dividends here early in 2016. We'll see if Eric Freeberg can play a part in the game on Saturday night. The Seattle Sounders on the road at FC Dallas. Again, kickoff, 6 p.m. Pacific. Q13 Fox and Cairo, 97.3 FM and El Rey, 1360 AM in Spanish. For Steve Zakawani, I'm Nick Fershaw. Thanks for watching The Scouting Report.